good morning and welcome to Wednesday. I nearly said Tuesday. It is Wednesday today. Um, I am just getting yarn sorted and ready so that I can um, put it into soak. Um, the method I use when I'm dyeing yarn um, has me soak my yarn in a solution of water and acid. Um, I use vinegar, some people use citric acid um, for I do it for about half an hour, I think, um, just to get the acid into the water because that's what allows the dyes, acid into the water, acid into the yarn, because that's what allows the dyes to set. Um, acid and heat is what's needed. Um, so I am just in the process of getting that sorted. Today, I can show you yarn in colour <laughs> because today I am dyeing up some sock sets for a wholesale order. Um, and yeah it's not mystery yarn I can't find any cable ties the right size um i used these cable ties for my yarn they're reusable ones which is really handy so they just undo and do back up again so i can use them again and again um, and they're handy to help you handle the yarn when the yarn's in the pan and um, one two three four so um yeah that's the plan today i am going to dye some sock sets so you can have some colored shots of yarn which will be quite nice um, so I will take you on along with me on the process, I can't talk, take you along with me on the process as I dye some of the sock sets. Um, I was also going to talk a little bit today about my plans for my 2022 clubs. And I know I mentioned um, in the podcast a couple of weeks ago my plans for um, the minis club, um, but I thought I would get out my get out some books <laughs> and have a little chat through some plans for um, all the clubs for 2022. Um, yeah, so that is the plan for today. I need to get this yarn into soak and then I will dig out some books a little bit later on and we can talk about club plans and I can get my plans set in motion. <laughs> There is something we need It's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening It's something you don't know You need a little enlightening It'll make you grow It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there oh, It's a beautiful world out there and Just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there Oh, if you have the will
most of the dyeing is done. I think the last batch is on at the moment. I think I set a timer for it. Hopefully I set a timer for it. We'll find out, won't we? Um, so that's really good. This is, um, as I said earlier, I think I said earlier, um, a wholesale order of sock sets. Um, so that's quite nice. It's my first kind of proper wholesale order, which is really nice to kind of, yeah, feels like business growth. <laughs> Anyway, um, I said I was going to sit down and talk about the 2022 clubs. Um, so I touched on it in the podcast um, a couple of weeks ago, I think, that my minis club for 2022 is going to be inspired by The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Um, so I dug out the two books. Um, we've actually got, I say we, this is Tom's. Um, <laughs> we've got a very nice illustrated edition of The Hobbit, um, which has got some um, nice little illustrations um, in, which is quite good. They're not the best illustrations for um, uh, for taking colourway inspiration from because they're all quite um, dark illustrations. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find another one, just flicking through quickly, hang on a second. Um, they're all quite dark, muted illustrations. Um, yeah, see, so you're not going to be able to pick out a lot of colours for inspiration. Um, but it's still, it's still a very nice edition. Um, so my plan is that for the first quarter of the year, so January, February, March, the club will be, um, the mini club will be inspired by The Hobbit. And I'll be taking inspirations from characters, locations, um, creatures, events, all kinds of things like that. Um, they'll be inspired, uh, there'll be a mix between the books and the films. Um, so I will be rereading The Hobbit so that I can take the inspiration from The Hobbit. However, I don't think I've got it in me to reread all of the Lord of the Rings. Um, so a lot of the Lord of the Rings ones, I will also be using the films um, to help me get my inspiration. But I will make sure that whatever inspirations I take for the films are um, from the films are ones that are also true to the books as well. Um, so, yeah. So basically each month it will be five mini skeins. Um, I'll probably do it similar to this year in that I'll make it available on 10, 20 gram or DK mini skeins um, because that's worked quite well and it's been quite nice dyeing up the different ones. Um, and I'm going to be doing the same as I did last time and putting it up with um, at the beginning of the, well, it'll actually be up from the end of December into the beginning of January. You'll be able to pre-order the quarter um, so that makes life a little bit easier if you tend to forget, because I know I do. Um, yeah, so mini club. And then um, the second, third and fourth quarter will be inspired by the different books. So um, obviously we will start with the Fellowship of the Ring and then the Two Towers and then the Return of the King. Um, but each quarter you'll get three sets of minis that are inspired by various things related to that book. Obviously, when it comes to Lord of the Rings, they might get slightly less specific. So like if I do some inspired by characters, those characters might be through the whole book, the whole of Lord of the Rings, as opposed to just characters specific to the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, but it gives me a scope to um, explore more within the book if I do it across. Anyway, I don't know what I'm rambling about. So that will be the minis club. Um, and then I have decided, I know I touched on it and I still hadn't quite decided um, but I had, I have decided that my um, sock club for the year is going to be inspired by um, Beatrix Potter. So I've got this dog-eared copy. Um, this has been well loved. Um, this copy was mine um, when I was young. And it's, I was about to say it's got prices in US and Canadian, but actually it has got it in um, pounds as well down the bottom. So it, yeah, anyway. This was my copy when I was young and obviously um, it's been in the boys' bedroom as well. So it's been, it's been well loved. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to base my sock club on um, the tales of Beatrix Potter. So each month we will be inspired by a different story. 
Um, and whether the colourway will be named after a character or something that happens in the story or the book in general will vary slightly month on month. Um, but it will, in general, be inspired by a different story each month. And this edition is really nice because um, it's got a lot of the um, original illustrations and stuff in, which will be really, really handy for picking colourway inspiration. Um, so obviously we've got Peter Rabbit and the tale of Peter Rabbit. Um, Squirrel Nutkin is one of my favourites. Um, I've been going through and putting a few little tabs in to remind myself of some of the things. Um, the pie, the tale of the pie and the patty pan. Um, I went at um, October, in October, during the October holidays when we were in the Lake District, we went to um, Hill, it's called Hilltop isn't it? We went to Hilltop which was Beatrix Potter's house and um, a lot of the illustrations in um, the pie and the patty pan relate specifically to places in her house. Um, so this fireplace um, was actually a fireplace that is in the house at Hilltop. Um, so that was really interesting to kind of go and see. Um, so obviously Jemima Puddle Duck. And did I pull out another one there? No, I think that's it. But yeah, there's so many, aren't there? Beatrix Potter stories. Um, Jeremy Fisher. And you've got kind of characters within characters with like the Flopsy Bunnies and... Yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be a fun, um, a fun club. And I haven't decided yet. Or have I decided? Yeah, I have decided. Um, I will run it in a similar way to my um, Grimm's Club from this year, the Once Upon a Yarn Club this year. I'll run it in a really similar way. So um, you'll be able to order either a 100 gram skein or a sock set across all of my bases. Um, because that's worked quite well to give people a choice. Um, yeah, I'm also um, going to make the Beatrix Potter Club available quarterly as well. So if you wanted to pre-order the quarter at the beginning of the year, so you know you're going to get the first three months, then they'll be available that way too. Um, so yeah, that is my plans for my 2022 clubs. Um, they're not available yet. They won't be available to pre-order until I think the listing will go up on the 27th of December and it will stay up until around the 10th of January. Don't quote me on that yet. I need to double check the dates. Um, the listing will be open for two weeks um, just to give me a little bit of extra time <laughs> um, to dye them and get them out. Um, yeah. Right, I don't even know what time it is. I think it is coming up to two o'clock, something like that. I need to go and check on this yarn. Um, I've moved the dining room around. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I moved the book, the gate board games cabinet um, into that corner rather than the corner by the window because we were starting to get a lot of the board games were fading with the sunlight. Um, and I thought that would be quite good. And then we can turn our table around the other way and it gives us a little bit more room in the dining room. So we'll see, we'll see how this works. Um, it also means that I can sit here and when the sun's shining in the window, it's not glaring at me quite so much. So we'll see. Anyway, I am really rambling. I've been talking for absolutely ages um, and I need to go and do some work. So I will see you all later, but I hope you like the idea of the clubs. Um, if you've got any favorite Beatrix Potter um, stories, or any favourite characters or moments from The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings or anything like that, then let me know down below in the comments. Um, because not only will it help me with my inspirations for the clubs throughout the year, um, but also I'm nosy and I want to know. I'm just finishing off the last bits and pieces in the office. It's just coming up to five o'clock. Um, I've had a lovely hour with the kids where they've actually just sat at the dining table and did some colouring with me, which is really, really unusual. Normally they're off watching TV or playing computer games or something like that. So that was really nice. Um, they coloured some lovely pictures. <laughs> um, I've got a few bits that I need to get spun. Let me see if I can lift this up. Hang on. Um, so this is one of the sock sets. This is Shipwreck. Um, so that needs to go into spin and the other one in there is coastline which is this one here and then there's two more that need to come out of the pan still 
There is Sugar Plum Fairy, which is this one. Can you see that from there? Not really. Put a drip all over me. There we go, that one's Sugar Plum Fairy. And then the last one, oh yeah. Here's a recent one that you'll recognise, Woodlands. Um, so I managed to get all of the actual sock sets dyed today. I just need to get the minis dyed tomorrow, um, but that's fine. I've got plenty of time to do that. Um, and they're relatively simple and easy to do. Um, but yeah, that's probably it from today. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few little bits and pieces to finish off the video with a bit of music and I will see you all tomorrow.